In this video, let's have a look at where we could get statistical information on foreign currency exchange rates. If we um, think of back to the latter part of 2008, the Russian ruble was widely expected to devalue, up to 30%, says RT. Forbes also predicted depreciation, as did the New York Times. So let's have a look at what exactly how big the depreciation was and uh, try to consider the reasons for that. Uh, in order to get the statistics on the Russian ruble, we can go to investing.com, go to charts, and pick a currency chart. Right here, your default option is going to be euro to USD, but let's switch that to USD to ruble let's pick an interval that is sufficiently long one month that will give us um, uh, that will enable us to go back sufficiently far in time and when your cursor is pointing somewhere in the chart you need to scroll your mouse down and that allows you to go back in time. So this is all the statistics that are available for the USD Russian ruble exchange rate and the period that we're interested in is around here starting from middle of 2008 you can see the depreciation of the Russian ruble happening. Compared to the exchange rate fluctuations that happened in the more recent years, you might think that this was not a significant move, but think of it in percentage terms. Back then, in June of 2008, Russian ruble was trading at 24 rubles per dollar. By the beginning of 2009, it devalued by 50% to around 35 uh, rubles per dollar. That is a very significant valuation. If you look at the articles, they mainly talk about the fall in the oil price, which was in itself the result of the expected economic downturn because of the great financial crisis. So as the great financial crisis unfolded, there was a flight to safety and currencies of developed countries that were less exposed to Commodity price fluctuations, for example, as in Russian case, were favored, and that led to a devaluation in the Russian ruble.